Keith, you're five questions away from a million. Have a look at question number 11 of 15. You've got phone a friend, you can ask the audience. It's worth £64,000. Here it comes. The flowers of papillionaceous plants resemble which insect? Ladybird, butterfly, dragonfly, bee. You've got two lifelines, it's worth £64,000. Butterfly. Don't want to eat lifeline? I read the book Papillon. And he had a, a giant butterfly tattooed on his chest, and that's why he was called butterfly, uh, Papillon. So I see Papillon at the start of the word, and I think that'll do. Are you this positive when you're drilling people's teeth? Uh, <laughs> uh, on the surface, yeah. <laughs> on the surface. OK. It's up to you. Question number 11. Final answer. Once it's gone orange, it's locked in the computer. There's no going back. It's worth 64,000 if you give me the right um, answer. Um... Butterfly. Final answer. Final answer. You had £32,000. You've still got £32,000. Oh. But you've now got another £32,000 to get... <laughs> So, Keith, you've got £64,000 in your pocket at this moment. You are four questions away from one million. Let's have a look at question number 12. By what name is comedian Jim Moyer better known? Vic Reeves, Jim Bowen, Frank Skinner, Jim Davidson, Jim Moyer. Now, it's worth £125,000. You can phone a friend, you can ask the audience. Keith, it's worth £125,000. And I haven't got a clue. Really don't know. Well, now, you've got to ask the audience. Yeah. And you can phone a friend. You can do either and still walk away with 64000 You could do both yeah. if you wanted to. Um, well, the audience seemed very nice tonight, so I'll ask the audience. <laughs> I don't know how you tell in the dark how nice they are. <laughs> OK, audience, let's see how nice you are. Let's try and get Keith up to £125,000. He's on 64000 at the moment. You don't have to take their answer, Keith, but see what they come up with. By what name is comedian Jim Moyer better known? All vote now. Fifty-three percent say it's Vic Reeves. Uh, Thirteen, Jim Bowen. Ten percent, Frank Skinner. Twenty-four percent think it's... Um, Jim Davidson, real name. Now, it's up to you. You've got 64,000. It's worth 125. Vic Reeves or Jim Davidson. What are you thinking, Keith? Well, I'm hoping the, the audience know better than I do. They're going for two there, really. They can discount B and C, I think. Take as long as you leave. It's well, worth £125,000. Yeah, I, I came with nothing. Uh, the audience look as they know it better than I do. <laughs> yeah, I like those sounds. Even if I have to give this back and I get half of it, then it's still a damn sight more than I was expecting. It's up to you. You've got £64,000 in your pocket at the moment. OK, I'll phone Richard. Richard? Yeah. OK, where's he? Down in Doncaster. Oh, Doncaster. OK, we'll phone him. You don't take his answer. No. It just might help influence your decision one way or another. 30 seconds, tell him the full possibilities and see what he says. If he can give you the right answer, it's worth £125,000. You would then be three questions away from £1 million. Hello? Richard? 
Yes. Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello there. I've got Keith Morgan here. Richard, with your help, we'd like to try and get him up to £125,000. Okay. Serious money. The next voice you hear will be Keith's. Yep. He'll tell you the question and four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth £125,000. OK, fire away. OK, Keith, your time starts now. Hi, Reg. Hi. By what name is comedian Jim Moyer better known? Vic Reeves, Jim Bowen, Frank Skinner or Jim Davidson? By what name is comedian Jim Moyer, spelt M-O-I-R, better known? Vic Reeves, Jim Bowen, Frank Skinner or Jim Davidson? Six seconds. Goes like that, doesn't it? I'll go with the audience, Vic Reeves. Final answer. Yeah, I still, I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'll go with the audience. I don't know better. Want to play? Once it goes orange, you can't change your mind. Yes. He came in here tonight with £64,000. Give us that check. <laughs> One way or another, you don't need that check anymore. <laughs> you just want a check for 120 <laughs> that you hope you don't have a really obvious answer to in Pointless tomorrow night at 8 on Challenge. And tomorrow at 9 on Pick, you've got to hope there's an obvious answer to what's lurking in your home in a haunting.